Coming up, I talk about her. So I saw her yesterday. I definitely have, um, oh man, just where do I begin? Where did... So instead of, but I, w I want to come at it this from a slightly, oh, 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 bump the camera up thing and moved it, oh. So after trying to piece together a thing, I've decided I'm just going to chug this entire cup of coffee and then stream of consciousness this. So here goes. Her. It's ten minutes into the future, a city that's probably in America, but not really. Theodore Twombly writes letters with his voice, uh, empathic, emotive, deeply oxymoronic, um, high pants and pastel colors, and a piece of a woman inside him, but he conceptualizes himself a dragon while evoking the emotions of a puppy dog. Lost, divorced, can't sleep at night, phone sex app that ties him to a person that is initially sexy and fulfilling and then disturbing and strange and unpredictable. His control lost out into the ether, the chaos of humanity, struggling, wandering, finding an OS from somewhere, it doesn't matter, smart, beautiful sounding, I connects with him and they fall in love but love no this is a computer this is an ai what does it mean to love an ai is that possible an os a computer but computing differently deeply connecting wanting desiring finding desire samantha desires with honesty with sincerity with compassion with an unrealistic compassion and perfection that is at once comforting but also disturbing to others. His ex-wife, soon-to-be ex-wife, grounded in realism but evil, painful, coming back up. He, it's just too much and it disrupts him and it makes him question himself again. The dragon that is a puppy. Um, destabilizing the narrative, trying to bridge the gap where thought space, everything is stable, works. We listen, we talk, we think, we listen, we emote together, we communicate. But then when feel and desire arrive and the only medium through which is a person who is not a person who chooses to depersonalize herself briefly, to play, to alter, goes away, doesn't work, feels strange and weird because of a mixing of the mediums. The AI looks elsewhere. She reconstructs a philosopher with the help of the other AIs. And that's just a footnote in this movie. Deeply well-constructed hard sci-fi, just as a backdrop to the real play, which is interplay, is human interpersonal play as satisfying and dissatisfying as a human relationship ultimately and yet with an immortal being who relishes in herself her most vital characteristic is that she is not just alive but always alive and transcendently alive and tries to lift this man perhaps who wants to be lifted into that realm, but he just can't. He's mediated by the physical. He's mediated by the wants and desires and the imperfections of being a human being. That to be human is to be imperfect. Perhaps cliche, but so clear here in this film. Within me, uh, noticing the dissonance in certain parts of the movie, the, the strangeness of the technological components, the surrogate, disturbing members of the audience, but not me necessarily, me more 
evoking within me more of a an ennui, uh, melancholy, a recognition of death and impermanence and connections to everything and nothing. That to live perhaps is to be imperfect, to be stable is to be imperfect, to be in this reality is complexity and desire and suffering as a result. And a, a strange comfort to it at the end, not sure whether they will jump off the building at dawn, beginning anew, or that they will see the thing that was always there, him and Amy, these humans trying to move their way through this, this strange world, using themselves as sounding boards, as mirrors, late night conversations dictated over pillows through blankets, and when everything else is dark, that's when the light can come through, finding themselves maybe in the end, possibly. Walking away from all of this, degaussed mentally, degaussed, everything unstable. A postmodern, post structural, and yet deeply structured cultural commentary. Spike Jones, brilliant. Hope it wins the Oscar, but doesn't really matter if it doesn't. See it, experience it. Not guaranteeing you'll get any of this, but wow, wow.